Well, ain't this nice? Fucking first snowfall of the year and shit. First official one. Yes, nothing better than a half ass clean on a car that I barely drive as much anymore. But, yeah, I look bummy. I look crazy. I don't care because. Ooh! Yo, so the shit came in for the Fox body. So, last video, I sat there and said that this year I was serious about taking this car serious and actually working on it. So, it just came in. This shit is dope. Damn. And I'm gonna unbox it too with y'all, for y'all. Man, I can't wait to get started on this shit, man. Because I know it's January. I'm gonna take my time with it just because obviously this is just like the base of the shit, you know? I know there's still other little key component parts you know, to make the shit whole, because obviously I don't want to, you know, damage the car, destroy the car, you know, I want everything to be done right, and I'm going to mainly be doing everything myself, um, I may reach out to maybe one or two people to help, maybe, but this is solely like me, like, this is actually, this is some shit that I, I solely want to do by myself, um, like I said, I may have asked for, like, one or two extra pair of hands, in terms of like certain shit um and there's at least two youtube channels um in terms of this platform that i'm gonna be you know with the obviously between the mustang and what i bought um there's at least two youtube channels that they, these guys they got so much info and i'm gonna be following them um in terms of tips and tricks and you know their trial and errors you know they went through it so i don't have to go through it or anybody else um but this shit, like, I'm just looking at it, I'm like, damn. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go ahead, let's see. Aha, right, bingo. Yeah, my beaters. Wow, you see that? Yes, sir. On three performance boost kit. We going turbo, baby. Straight up. Yes, still stock, block, stock, everything. Tranny still stock. Only thing that ain't really stock on the car is the clutch and the exhaust. That's about it. But I don't give a fuck. Yo, man. We got it. I don't know. Which one should I start with? I'm going to save, you know, I'm going to save the big one for last. And let me just say that this is my first ever like turbo kit because I mean obviously the focus is turbo but it's stock turbo from you know factory and stuff. All right, so right now what we got? What we got? What we got? This looks like the headers. Yes, it is. Okay, so these are the headers. Yep, that is the T4 flange. What the hell just dropped? Oh, and a T4 flange for the turbo. That is most likely either the wastegate blow off valve or this is the flex pipe. This shit I remember from the videos runs along the bottom. That was the other side of the header. Ah! And all the important gaskets. And fucking nuts and bolts. Appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you. And then this is the downpipe. I would assume this is the downpipe. Yeah, because it goes from to, I think that's the downpipe. Okay, cool. So that's all the hot side piping, I believe. Yeah, it's considered hot side piping. We're gonna save you for last. Shout out to my UPS, man. They really, it snowed like, I wanna say maybe five. If you're gonna comment talking about, don't cut towards you, I don't care. I'll be all right. But, oh, listen. Right now, um, 
they still out here delivering. Shout out to UPS. After like four to five inches of snow. And this is all cold piping, intercooler. Damn. Okay. Okay, okay. They got everything in this bitch. Yes, yeah, sir, skis. Um, when do I plan on starting this build? When do I plan on putting everything together? Well, first, obviously, um, first things first, I'm gonna have to jack the car up. Actually, I'm not gonna jack the car up. Gotta obviously, you know, remove the hood, headlights, front bumper, get as much clearance and shit as possible. Um, then I'm gonna jack the car up. May, may not remove the wheels. I don't know. Oh shit. That's a lot of fucking peanuts, bruh. Oh, and the. Oh. oh. Hey, yo, I ain't gonna hold you right now. I'm. Now I'm like stupid. Stupid excited right now. It's my first fucking turbo, bro. Nah, this is like my first. Because obviously this turbo is bigger than the one in the Focus. Obviously. Duh, 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 duh. Um, but like, just it being my first time and shit, like, you know, it's like, you know, I don't know. You may, if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Um, but I can't wait, man. This car deserves to go fast. It's been fucking stock since the fucking 90s, bro. Oh my god, my first fucking turbo, bro. <laughs> Yo, this shit is so fire. Oh, that is so much grease and oil. God, you know what? I ain't even fucking mad though, bro. Damn, should I take it out of his packaging now? Yeah, fuck it, we gonna, we gonna do a full, full unboxing of this shit. I don't care, y'all probably seen a thousand of these videos, maybe, not a thousand, maybe a couple hundred. Maybe a few, maybe even just a couple. I don't give a shit. This is my first mother. Fucking... Come here. We're gonna keep all the yep. keep all protections on the you know, inlets, outlets, the whole fucking a uh, fucking yo. My first turbo, bro. This shit is fire. That shit is sick. <laughs> Yo, this shit is so dope. It feels like, I feel like, uh, maybe this is what it feels like when you have a, a newborn, a firstborn baby. I think this is equivalent to that feeling. Any uh, dads out there watching um, that actually own the turbo car that they've built, um, let me know if this is equivalent to having a firstborn. I don't know what that feeling is. I would assume it's this, this same feeling. And fuck, that is a lot of grease on my fucking hand. Son of a bitch. Damn, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This is turbo heavy. Oh man. I'm like shaking, trying to hold that shit up and take a picture. This shit's heavy as hell. I am not about to lie to y'all. I know. Ah, like I said, the inner cooler. Boom, boom, everything looks good. That's awesome. Is this the wastegate? Keep everything in its original. Ooh, almost cut myself. I'm pretty sure y'all. Yeah, this is all like a first for me, man. This shit dope. Oh my god, this shit heavy as hell. Got some, it ain't heavy. Let me stop. It got some good weight to it. 
oh shit, that's a big ass fucking whiskey. Damn, son, that's fire. That's dope as shit. That is so dope. Booyah. So we got couplers. You know what? I wanna add, I wanna, right now, I wanna go ahead and ask. Y'all think I should put this blower valve, this blitz blower valve on this kit? Cause I got the flange to be welded um, wherever this is supposed to originally go on the hot side piping. Or it could go to the cold side piping too, I think. It don't really matter. Um, but obviously, if it's on the hot side, why the fuck you wanna create extra bullshit? Should I put, should I keep it stock with the kit or install the blitz or keep the blitz for the focus like I originally um, wanted to and shit? Um, Y'all can go ahead and let me know that. This looks like a fucking, ah. Oh. Damn, what's that blow valve company? Fuck. I can't think of it right now. I'm pretty sure when I'm editing the video, I'll probably throw the subtitle in to say what I what it really looks like. Who the the brand company that this model looks like after. Like all the clamps and shit. And the bracket relocation. And yep, these are all the, the V-band clamps. Regular clamps. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, yes. And the oil line fittings and shit of that na of that uh, nature. And it should be a fucking um. Tat. You got a DVD. I might watch that. I might fucking not. This is the alternator bracket relocation. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's a memo. That's a memo. Order. Nuts and bolts, and I'll figure that out. Two hours later. All right, so I'm back out here a couple hours later, and uh, I said, screw it. I got some time. Um, it's about, about almost three o'clock. Uh, I got some hours to kill before I'm um, doing uh, playing some ball tonight. So what I decided, I'll just go ahead and start the, you know, the setup process. You know, taking off the hood, uh, removing the bumper, you know, shit like that. Um, also bought this because, like I said, there's two YouTubers who I'm going to be getting tips and tricks off of. Since I didn't buy the oil relocation kit for this, he said uh, it just pops this oil filter right on there um, and we're good to go. So we don't gotta worry about that. Yeah, yeah, so I um, got this laid out, the car cover laid out. Cause now I'm just gonna go ahead and break this shit down and uh, get back to it. Boom, just like that. The hood is now off. If you wanna know how I did it by myself, it was quite simple, just very carefully. I mean, all I did was just take off the bolts. I left this up on it and just care, like make sure it sat on this once you get one side done. And then just, you know, carefully do it, simple. Um, now I'm gonna work, I don't know why I cut off. Um, now I'm gonna work towards getting the front bumper off and moving that shit over and yeah many unbearable hours later so literally i want to say about maybe fucking two hours later a bumper is now off when i tell you that damn my garage doesn't have any power that runs to it so these fucking bolts, uh, the screws, washers, bolts, what the fuck ever, that go along the side were a pain in the ass. 
and it doesn't help that it's fucking cold out here but literally took all them shits off took the two off the mountain brackets the four under that go into that and here we are also had to remove the um the stock air intake to get to some bolts but i mean i had to remove this shit anyway before it's about to come and i'm pretty sure i gotta remove the rest of this shit but i'm literally gonna save that shit for tomorrow it is almost five o'clock it is fucking brick out here and i don't really got any light i went to home depot and <laughs> check this shit out i bought this ryobi light my dumbass doesn't own a Ryobi battery pack, so I gotta go buy that tomorrow. But in terms of a first day with unboxing the kit, we got the hood off, we got the front bumper off, we got the stock air take, uh, intake, air intake out, and literally, I just gotta get rid of that shit tomorrow, remove the alternator, remove the fucking fan, you know, more shit, more shit, and then jack, and then jack the car up and put it on jacks, and then start working. Hopefully, to get the headers and the uh, exhaust undone tomorrow. But I say first day, we got some pretty good progress. Oh, and I took the battery out, um, because I had to get to something too. I decided to take the battery out anyway, more room to work with. But here we are, man. <sighs> Turbo Fox coming in, man, for real. But I'm having fun doing this. This shit looks it's crazy. It's like I've never gotten this extent with this car, at least. I've never worked, been able to get this far with really doing any type of build or work on it. Um, oh, yeah. And by the way, taking this front bumper off was harder than my fucking focus. I was able to do the front bumper swap in like an afternoon with my focus. This shit. Yeah, I felt like I was going to die out here, man. But that's going to be all for today, guys. I'm um, going to go ahead and catch you on the next part of uh, Turbo Fox. So, see you.